Hi, Corey with Gold Rush Expeditions. We are out here today outside of beautiful Silver Star, Montana at the High Ore Mine. Now, this mine looks a little bit intimidating to get to, but the roads are actually very, very good to get up here. What I'm standing here by is a large pile of tailings out of one of the many mines that is on this claim. These mines were worked for gold, and then in the 50s and 60s, they found something called chromite that they pulled out of as well. The chromite separated out from the gold when they were originally working it, so there was a big push to kind of get some of the tailings that are out here. What you can see here is all good gold ore. That's low grade ore, so you're looking probably half ounce to an ounce and a half a ton that was just never processed because it wasn't profitable enough when gold was 25 bucks an ounce. Down over the hill, we've got a mill that processed some of the ore, it appears, that they crushed up and separated probably the really good grade ore because there's some screens, there's water down there, shipped that out and then kind of left a bunch of this other stuff. But we've been seeing some really good color in the quartz and then in some of this scarny type material. You can see behind me, we've got a bunch of other mines that are all up here. The majority of these are all on your claim if you're the one that's purchasing the high ore. The roads, like I said, are really easy. It's about four miles out of Silver Star. Good high desert roads. I mean, out here it's dry. You're not gonna get too terribly wet out at any certain point. You'll probably be able to work it pretty much year round. We're gonna go wander over here and I'm gonna show you what appears to be a miner's quarters and where there was power back when this little area was completely booming. What we're looking at here is probably where all of the miners would congregate at the end of the day. There's a bunch of other little buildings around here, a lot of other interesting stuff, but this was a large building, probably housed quite a few people. I bet you there was cook stove stuff here. There's a lot of uh, tin, like you see in the inside of old buildings that's laid on the top that has been, it's been bastardized from some building and they've used it for securing the sides of their buildings, keeping everything airtight up here. So there's a whole lot to look through. It's, you can see how much dry rot is here. That's the biggest thing that is gonna kill the buildings out here, but still, you're gonna find a lot of treasures out here just because of the way this area is. One of the biggest things you can find at any mine that gives you an indicator that there was actually some good mineral being produced is an assay office for all intents and purposes. An assay office doesn't need to be anything big. All it needs to be is a place where they can bring ore in, crush it up, and someone who is trained in doing assays could burn it off and kind of tell you what was in your rock. This right here was part of an old assay stove. You can see there's a lot of slag melted off here. All these rocks kind of have it. Unfortunately, somebody beat us to this and uh, basically crushed this poor old stove. They probably thought they had some great find of a 40 pound nugget and instead just ended up breaking something cool and historical, but you can kind of see what you're looking at there. This would have been metal that was poured off of the crucibles as it came out and just poured into the oven so they could get an actual little button of gold in the bottom of those crucibles. Crucibles are usually made of bone, so it absorb everything out. So very cool, even though it's broken, very rare to find, but it also shows you there was a lot going on here and they were getting some good mineral content. If you're not getting good mineral content, there's no need to have anything assayed out here. So. What this is right here, likely, is a separation bin. This, likely, they had a couple of different kinds of ore that they were working with. And when I say likely, sometimes you're making an educated guess as to what you've seen out here. And because there's no interpretive signage, we have to go by what we've seen before and how we've seen miners work. This would have been good to separate quite a few things. It's sturdy, it's big. It's also probably turn of the century construction, so Hard to say, but it is a very cool little aspect and it's one of many cool historical aspects on the high ore here. For more pictures and video of the inside of the mine, definitely go check out our website, www.goldrushexpeditions.com. There'll be pictures there, there'll be video, there'll be a full description and all the history. And if you catch it quick, it might still be for sale by the time you get over there. So hope for the best.